I'm particularly esteemed for the invitation to attend and also officiate this very important ceremony in the life of our gallant army, the UPDF. Indeed, we all agree that the only way we can maintain standing and active militaries is through continuous training and skilling of our gallant men and women in uniform. Let me note that you have come a long way to be able to acquire this level of training, moreover, in one of the most reputable institutions within our region. I wish to congratulate all of you, and specifically department students, for the efforts you have invested in completing this course. This achievement marks a new chapter in your careers which will call for solid commitment to duty and service to your respective countries and the region at, at, at large. You are all too aware that our region is faced with multiple security challenges, some of transnational nature, economic hardships, and of course global dynamics which are negatively impacting our societies. As leaders, I urge you to broaden your focus more beyond traditional military threats so that our respective militaries can aptly respond to the issues in a strategic manner. We live in a very, very unstable world with my soul in focus. Today we see the kings of the world gathering their armies for battle, in what I would call the valley of death, we should remain alert for whatever is happening somewhere else. We don't expect us here. I want to pass my congratulations to the commandant and the entire college faculty for the good job you are continuously doing to mentor our middle-level military middle officers. As you are well aware, the situation in our region is relatively dynamic. However, I am well aware that the year you have spent on this course has prepared you to fully grasp these major security challenges, locally, regionally, and even globally. We have given you this joint professional military education for a greater purpose. As we, we develop you as strategically minded joint war fighters who think critically and can creatively apply military power to inform national strategies. Yes, so what is that? As you see all of these officers today, I wish to assure you that they have given, they have been given the tools to work in agency to realize their respective defense forces aspirations. As a quite faculty, we believe the instructional package offered in 47 weeks has set a firm foundation for the creation of all-round officers capable of analyzing and heading complex national and international issues and discerning their far-reaching implications for food for ever-changing global security environment. You have spent nearly a year with us. Your success on this course has equipped you to perform better in your career. Indeed, you are now going to enter another phase of your career. I urge you to put the knowledge you have acquired to the very good use. I urge you to uphold and be guided by the core values of the college, which are patriotism, integrity, discipline, seriousness, and professionalism. I'm Colonel Dewa Kiki. I have been a student here at Senior Commander and Staff College. 
but maybe most importantly, I have been the co-senior, I have been the most senior in this college. In the military career, this course is very, very important because it is a second last course that uh, take you to another level. It is for senior officers and uh, when you have a past staff college course, you can be, you can work anywhere. It is a course that wraps up the entire military career from when you were a cadet up to where you are. Basically, this is where we are taught issues of policy and strategy, how to plan both military, militarily and other areas, economically, socially, politically, diplomatically. All of those issues are within strategy. And uh, I'm happy that I got this chance to do this course and uh, to improve or to add on my career. It's a very big, big achievement and I thank the Army leadership for giving me the opportunity to do this course. My name is Mijan Kata from Kenya Defense Forces. I'm the, specifically from Kenya Navy. It has been an hectic journey all the way for the last 47 weeks. I have really gained a lot from uh, Uganda as a, coming from Kenya uh, because most of the packages, especially on land operations, were packed well heavy for us. The seven East African countries were are well represented in this course and we are able to learn from each other. Personally, I have done a master's in defense and security studies from McLaren University, which I feel privileged because it has uh, gained me knowledge, especially on international and regional affairs matters. We are able to know as a region of East Africa where we are and where we aspire to be in uh, various decision making. We can be able to help our leaders to make the East Africa that we want. I'm particularly esteemed for the invitation to attend and also to shape this very important ceremony in the life of our current army, the UPDF. Indeed, we all agree that the only way we can maintain standing and active militaries is through continuous training and skilling of our gallant men and women in uniform. Let me note that you have come a long way to be able to acquire this level of training, moreover, in one of the most reputable institutions within our region.